Hey everyone, welcome to episode 29 of Let's Play More Moss of the Demon Blade. I am the Green Scorpion, and this is it, guys. This is what I predict to be the final boss of the game. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but we'll see. First of all, let's check the forge. Double check, just in case. Just to make sure I didn't miss any. Which, it doesn't look like it, which... Jeez, I still have so many blades to make. But... This is the final act, so it seems that this is all we're going to be able to make at this point. Okay, go to equipment. We're going to replace the Cypress Rosary with... Let's see. Let's go with the Swordsmith Mallet, because we have a lot of blades. Is that... That's how it works, right? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Item shortcut. We pretty much have the EO Stones ready. We got plenty of healing items at this point. We're gonna do some last... We're gonna do some cooking. Let's see, we, we still have Auto Restore. So, we're gonna do some cooking. And... Let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much with the Shabu Shabu. So, we're gonna go... Zozui with Yam? Oh, Restore items. Don't need that. Stewed Yam, Auto Recovery. No. Let's go with the Tofu Hot Pot, as usual. Wait. Did that get rid of my auto-recovery? Uh, seems like it did. Dang it! Not- I really wish that those abilities stacked. Alright, we gotta wait for the to- for the fullness to go down again. Uh, I was afraid of that. Alright. Cause I think this is a more important than that. Let's cause I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna try to avoid getting killed as much as possible, even with the uh, auto restore. But something tells me that this is gonna be a good uh, a good fail safe. Powerful enemy resides in the area. Are you are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes. Let's go. Oh, wow. Yukinojo! Wait right there, Izuna Jinkuro. Yukinojo, what a strange place to meet. If you are here to fight, I'll gladly oblige you. Although you, although my defeat brought disgrace to Shikake style, I have not come to fight. I pressed Ronkai to learn of Momohime's situation, and I've come to save her. When you asked about the Kuromitsu blade, I told you a lie. I have it right here. What? That's why I couldn't find it! So Yoki Nojo had it the entire time. Are we fighting him again? Okay, let's talk to Ronkai. You run amok on our ground, splashing blood everywhere. This is outrageous! For invading our mountain tops sanctuary, I must take your life once and for all. You depraved monk, I'm tired of looking at you. It's time to strike you down. I will not let my guard down again. You shall never sneak back into this body. I will kill Yokinojo to get the Kodomitsu blade. Then you can mourn him however you wish. Oh jeez, Jinkodo's serious now! Hand that blade over. You want me to restore Momohime to her body, don't you? What if I gave you a condemned crim- What if I gave you a condemned criminal? You can choose any body you like. In return, you must restore Momohime and perform the soul transfer in front of me. Many a lord have died pursuing eternal life. You desire this art for yourself. I have no intention of agreeing to that. Someday we'll settle this once and for all. So, who are we fighting? Are we fighting Ronkai or Yoki Nojo? Let's proceed. Oh my lord! Stop! We have now taken the Kuromitsu blade. You are not worthy of such a treasure. You fool. To enter heaven with such malice and impede the light of the land, the powerful Buddha's protector, Fudo Myo, will now exercise you. Prepare to battle the god of Fudo, the god Fudo Myo. Oh boy! What the? Buddha's protector, eh? Now to see if Muramasa can really split a god in two. Here goes! Let's begin! 
is protected by barriers. Do whatever it takes to destroy him. Ugh. Holy smoke. Do I have to destroy these barriers? Or do I have to take these guys down first? Let's take down these guys down first. Ow! Oh, man. I gotta say, I immediately like the ambience of this fight. But this is not gonna be easy. He's down! Aha! I see! Gotta be careful here. Ugh. I think I gotta act quickly, though. Okay, that thing's down. So this is like a puzzle boss. Okay, that's another one. Oh boy. Ugh. Platforming. Aw oh, man. Peach? And let's break this. Okay, that's down. Ugh. Whew. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Jeez. Okay, looks like I gotta use my... My secret arts to good... Put my secret arts to good use here. Okay. Another peach? I just gotta be careful here. Whoa! Nuts! 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 Ugh. Holy smoke, this battle is crazy! Another peach. Whoa, boy. Okay, he's down. Not that one. Where is it? Ugh. Where is it? Nuts! Yes! Okay. Come on. That's down. Okay, another peach. Oh, no! Okay, auto recovery saved my life there. But I am not in good shape right now. Whoa! Okay, another peach. I gotta find my way up, though. There we go. Ah, it's that one. There we go. There! Ugh! Okay, another peach. Still a few more barriers to destroy. Crescent! Quick draw! Universe! Universe! Okay, that barrier's down. Come on. Universe! Where is it? There it is. Ah! Come on. That's down. Another peach and... Vengeance! Come on, vengeance. Whoa! 
Ugh. Holy smoke. Ah! I got one peach left and I'm gonna use it. Alright, there we go. Oh man! Those falling rocks are a serious nuisance! Oh boy! Vengeance! Dang it! Ah! Let's go to the Trillium Tablet. Let's get up here. Oh man! It's just that one. Ah! Trillium Tablet. Dang it! There! I think I got him now. If I can face the right way, there we go. Gotcha! Is that it? That's it? Did I beat? Did I finally beat the final boss? Tsukiyotoshi. Oh man. Ah. Oh boy. You have merely defeated a statue. I will now appear in my demon conquering form and destroy everything in my path. I knew it wasn't that easy. <sighs> Is that Momohime? The real Furomyo appeared and then... Uh, I can't remember. I have a strange feeling like I've been reborn. Jinkuro's soul is gone now. Jinkuro, where did he go? What could have happened to him? Did she all of a sudden take a liking to Jinkuro? And is that who I think it is? Kongiku? I thought foxes couldn't enter the Buddha sanctum. Are you crying? I wanted to meet Jinkuro one last time. I came to say my final goodbye. So Jinkuro's completely gone? Seeing the exalted form of Furumyo, I am grateful, but a bit scared to be honest. I, who have lacked faith, have been penetrated by the gaze of Furumyo. I have strayed far from the path of enlightenment. How wretched I have been! Jinkuro! Furumyo's power voided my possession of your body completely. You're as good as new. You thwarted my efforts, but were still saved in the end. How loathsome. Now you are no longer an impediment to me. Maybe I am glad to be rid of you. This might be a good time to soak in Hell's cauldron and think about my next move. You should forget about all of this and return to your mundane life. Go in good health. Hmm. He's actually being a little bit respectful. So is that it? What the? Wah! I will now appear in my demon conquering form and destroy everything in my path. You liar, Muramasa. This blade doesn't live up to its name. I don't even stand a chance. I now I know I know now No. I now know I have to give up my evil ways, but I've certainly enjoyed myself. If the owner of this body committed any crime, I am to blame. Punish me instead. If the mercy of Buddha is a sham, then punish us both. I will gloat as I die. <laughs> you want to save her to that extent? I see a ray of hope amidst your villainy. Then I will restore the girl. Let that ease your mind as you fall into hell.
back in Yamato. Have you heard about the wedding? Yes, it's become the talk of the town. The daughter of the dissolved house. His retainers have opposed it, however... But Yoki Nojo has not had a change of heart. Oh, it's a very touching story. His betrothed is a fresh and innocent young noblewoman. Let us wish them well. Speak of the devil. Oh, she has a very unusual air about her. Wait, are they talking about... Hey! Don't make a rash decision. Spiritual enlightenment is not so easy to attain. I can't imagine such a pretty young lady adapting to a strict, pious lifestyle. I will have no regrets. Buddha called to me, and I have given his this great thought. Lady Momohime, I think it's a bad idea. Why would you want to be a nun? Please do not oppose me. No matter what you say, I will not change my mind. What are you up to? Why have you changed your mind about marrying me? You doubt my sincerity? You think I am only doing this to atone for my sins? Or perhaps I displeased you somehow? Please tell me if that's true, I can change. You are not lacking in anything. You have taken me in and proposed to me. It's such a shame. I can't thank you enough, but I can't be happy this way. What's your deal, Momohime? And... Rakai? To repent for my sins, I will make a pilgrimage across the entire country. Just in case I perish on my travels, I wanted to speak with you one more time. They say if penitent, penitent an evil person may become highly virtuous. The providence of Buddha is guiding us both. Then you are saying you will become a nun in order to attain enlightenment. Because of Jinkuro's ambition, my soul was separated from my body. But looking back on it, he also went to hell willingly in order to save me. I have no such... I have so much pity for him. I cannot rest. The least I can do is serve Buddha. I must dedicate my life to praying that the burden of his sins is lessened. I know that you want me to give up on this, but please accept my wishes. Obviously, the hand of Buddha is truly guiding us. That I sought you out at this time. Even in hell, if Jinkuro knew of this, he would be saying something sarcastic. But if I can assist you in saving him, this is a great way to start my journey.桃姫の心地よき小姉で響く南阿弥陀仏の照明や果たして地獄の神苦労の耳に届きましょうか。バチ当たりの過ぎる男ゆえ照明をエコーも買いなく見事地獄の鬼を出し抜いて浮世に化
it was definitely really cool. And, yeah, this music is really awesome. But, yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to come up with things to say during the credits, you know? But, yeah, like, I still think this is a very underrated game. Definitely deserves more credit. And, yeah, Jinkudo was a great character. And, yeah, th I had a lot of fun with this. So... Yeah, to think that Jinkudo is burning in hell now. Even after all that he's done. But my god, if 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 we were going to face uh if if we were going to face uh that that god as the final boss, I would have been very impressed, but man, that would have been crazy. Though you gotta think logically, even even Jinkudo with the Mortarmasa wouldn't have been powerful enough to take on that thing. But then again, what what has uh real what has reality ever have to do with video games, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this was a great LP. However, haha, <laughs> I'm saying it like this is the end of it, right? Far from it. As you guys may remember, you guys uh, decided that it would be uh, in my best interest to continue this LP, this time playing as Jinkudo. Not, not Jinkudo, that Kisuke. Yeah, this time playing as Kisuke. Sorry, I have Jinkudo stuck in my head right now. So, yeah. Momohime's story has finally come to a close, and now it's time to open the new book. The story of Kisuke. What awaits us in his story? I don't know. And something tells me we're going to run into Momohime every now and then during his story as well. But my goodness. And... What? How about this credits uh, music, right? Vanillaware, can you make more games like this? Seriously. Man, such awesome scenery. I'm gonna go with the uh, idea that that's Momohime. She probably still practices swordplay, right? Because you guys may have. You guys may have thought that that was a uh, we were playing as Jingodo the entire time. Not the case because if you remember in the very beginning of the game, we were actually playing as Momohime. Jingodo didn't overtake Momohime's soul until after the first chapter. Or yeah, like at the first chapter but at the very end before we face the blue monk. So yeah, like what's my opinion on the game? At least so far. Gameplay? Perhaps a little repetitive, but it definitely uh, gets the job done. Music is spectacular. The art style is fabulous. Um, story? A little convoluted, but it definitely picks up near the end where things start to make more sense. Although I will say this much, one thing still bothers me. What exactly did Jinkoro want with the Kotomitsu Blade? And why did he want to bathe in Heaven's Divine Light? Was he just seeking power? Was it at, was he uh, after revenge or something? Did he want to take over the world? Of course. Who knows? Something tells me that those ambitions that Jinkuro had may be answered in the next story. But yeah, um, and what's going to become of uh, Momohime and Kiss and Yoki Nojo after this? And are we ever going to have another fight uh, just like the one against Yoki Nojo? We'll have to see. Alright, that's the end. Momohime's story has officially come to a close. Shigurui has been added to a new playing style. After choosing new game from the title screen, you can now select Shi Shigurui, the most difficult playing style in the game. Wow. You can also choose a different ending based on the blade you equip in the final act. Huh? I'll have to look that up. Obtain this blade by completing the story of Kisuke, Ninja Scroll of the Demon Blade. 
You can now warp to shrines. Yes, we are going to save. Alright, guys. Momohime's story is done. So next time on more Moss of the Demon Blade, we will continue this game, not as Momohime, but we are going to begin the story of Kisuke, the Ninja Scroll of the Demon Blade. See you guys then!